So how do we find the mass percent of potassium and sulfur inside of potassium sulfide? Well, it's a very simple process. There's two main steps. First, we're going to find the total mass, and then we're going to find those percents. All right, take a look. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the elements down that I see in the compound. So we have potassium and sulfur. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. And if you don't see a subscript, just put in a one there. So we have two potassium, one sulfur. Then we're going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element. And those masses are found on the table, periodic table that is. So here's potassium, 39.1, and here's sulfur, 32.07. So let's write them in. So 39, 39.1, and then sulfur is going to be 32.07. Then we're going to find the total mass of each element in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross. So that's going to be a total of 78.20 units of mass for potassium. And sulfur here is going to be 32, 32.07. All right. And then simply add this column up to find the total mass of the entire compound. So the total mass here is going to be 110.27. And there it is, right? That's the total mass. That's the first step of the process to finding these mass percents of the percent composition of each element. What I'm going to do now is add a column to the table, and the rest is easy peasy. Bam. So to find the mass percent of, let's say, potassium, we're going to take the total mass of that potassium, the 78.20, divided by then the entire mass of the compound, 110.27, multiply that by 100 then because we need it in terms of a percent. This is part over whole, that is a fraction. Once you multiply that by 100%, you basically turn it into a percent. Yeah, anyway, uh, so the percentage here is going to be roughly uh, 70.92, all right, 92%. And that's the percent of now potassium in, uh, what is this, potassium sulfide? Cool. Then take the total mass of the element for sulfur here, so 32, 32.07, divided by then the total mass, that's why we had to find that first, and then multiply that by 100, and we get a percentage here of roughly 29.08%. All right, and that's all there is to it, my friend. So if you add these two together, you get 100, and look, wouldn't it be nice to get this on the next test? Well, that's what we're trying to help you out, and by doing thousands and thousands of videos, all right? We want you to succeed. Check out our channel. We'd love to help. See you soon.